Yo, what is going on guys? Mace here back with another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this. Okay, but anyways, like you just saw, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make that insane dav uh build up on DaVinci Resolve. So let's get straight into it. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna I already have my clip synced and stuff, so you're gonna wanna do that. And um we're just gonna find when the shotgun pulls out. So right about here is the frame. We're gonna open up retime controls by pressing control R. And then right here on this black line, you're gonna press this black arrow, you're gonna press click it and press add speed point. You're gonna find the kill and you're gonna go one, two, three frames to the right, and go back to the kill, go one, two, three frames to the left, and then go one, two, three, four frames to the left again. And now we're gonna go back to this last speed point and go one, two, three, four frames to the right, add speed point. So we're gonna work from left to right. So right here in this play space, we're gonna change the speed to 25%. And then um, over here in this second space, we're gonna change the speed to 150. And then in this third space, you're gonna change it to 400. And this, this small space right here, you're gonna change it to 150. And then this last one here to 50%. And now we're gonna do, you're gonna go back to your marker where your um, beat drop is. And all you're gonna wanna do is drag the second speed point all the way to like somewhere where it looks pretty good. And then you're gonna drag this other speed point until it's almost synced. So it's like one frame off. But as you can see, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. You can, it's super good velocity. But um, yeah, anyways, you can X out of retime controls. And now what you're gonna do is find when your shotgun pulls out again. So obviously it's right there. Press control B to split. And then you're gonna split on the B drop again. So it looks the same, but you're, what you're gonna wanna do is go into your this clip right here and you're gonna look up S underscore monochrome. You're gonna drag that onto the clip. By the way, you're gonna need Sapphire plugins. I'll link down in the description, uh, download from. And we're gonna do put the mix with source at one at the start, and then go to the end on the kill and put it to zero. And you'll have like that, that saturation fade. And once you're done with that, you're gonna hold Alt and drag up on this clip. And um, you're gonna wanna delete the monochrome on the top clip. It's now it's not gonna look like anything, but that's okay. Now this is where we're gonna do the masking. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go into your color tab on the top clip. We're gonna now we're gonna do you're gonna uh, make sure this thing's open and you're gonna add the circle tool like the circle shape thing and um, you're just gonna want to make it like an oval shape ish thing so it's kind of like that you don't want it too big but you don't want it too small um, but yeah you just want it a little oval and you're just gonna kind of put it on your character's back or wherever you think a good spot is so I think like right there looks good and um you're gonna make sure you're on the first frame of when it starts go to the color tab you're gonna keyframe this corrector one and you're just gonna go frame by frame making sure it stays in the spot you want it to so for me like this looks pretty good but you know you can just make sure it looks good so frame by frame just keep on moving this circle and that was good so now you'll have uh, something like that and we're gonna do, go back to the color tab and you're gonna right click up in the space up here make sure you have this nodes thing open right click press add alpha output and then this blue dot will appear you're gonna drag this blue line all the way down to this blue dot and connect it and now you can see how this spot right here is only color but um it's hard to tell but we're gonna add some effects now so now you're gonna want to do is you're gonna add s underscore glow and you're gonna drag that onto your top clip. And now you can see there's like a glow thing. And you can change this to whatever color you want. I'm gonna do a blue. So let's just change the color to blue. And you're gonna put the brightness to like one. You can turn the threshold down or up. I'm gonna leave it like 0.3 maybe. So 0.3 right there. And the glow width, um, you can leave that. And you're just gonna try to make it like kind of as you can see it looks like kind of rough so go back into your color tab and you're just going to want to change the softness to like just put it up a little bit so it doesn't look as rough and um now 
it looks a little bit better so you can actually turn the brightness up like a lot probably to like 2 1.5 maybe and uh yeah that looks pretty good to me and you can just mess around with all these settings i'm just gonna leave it like this it looks good to me and what you're gonna want to do go to the start put the brightness at zero and you're gonna go one two three four five six frames to the right and we're gonna put it to whatever brightness you had it at so mine was at 1.5 and as you can see there's that little blue um effect and lastly we're gonna add well not lastly but now for the build up you're gonna add a adjustment clip on top of the build up so you're gonna drag that up right here and you're just gonna cut it right on there and then you're just gonna delete the extra parts and on this adjustment clip you're gonna go into your fusion tab and once that loads up, press control space to bring up the search thing and you're gonna go S underscore shake. By the way, you need Sapphire plugins. And um, now that you're in here, you're gonna go to the start and put the frequency to something like, it doesn't have to be a super big shake. So I'm gonna put mine at like 12 for my frequency. Drop this X shake thing down, put this X random amp to zero. Same for the Y shake. And now for the Y wave amp, put it to like 0 0.06 and the Y wave frequency to like, 0.8 now we're gonna do put the amplitude to zero at the start and then you're gonna go to the very end and put it to like one ish you're gonna enable this motion blur and put it to like 0.8 and you'll have it's really hard to render it out but yeah as you can see it looks like that if you want you can mess around with these things more like maybe this i'm gonna put the the wave frequency to like 0.65 and the Y wave amp to 0 0.05. And maybe you can turn the frequency down to like 10. But I like that. I'm gonna I think the amplitude's too high. I don't know why, it just looks too high. But it's gonna be super laggy because that's just how DaVinci is. But um yeah, now that you're done with that. Um, we're gonna go to for the impact. So now for the impact, um, you're gonna drag on another adjustment clip right on the kill. And I want it to, I just want the thing to end right here. So press control B to split it right there. And now we're gonna do, I'm gonna have the presets in the description for this stuff. But go to the adjustment clip, go into the fusion tab, and I'll have the drive link down with the presets and stuff. And what we're gonna wanna do is go to where you saved your presets. So mine are right, I don't even know where I saved them. But um, mine should be, let me just find them real quick. Okay, but anyways, my presets are right here. It's gonna be called God, Pink, Glow, Flicker, and uh, RGB Impact. So first I'm gonna add the RGB Impact. So drag this onto your Fusion page. Select both of these, drag them up, hold Shift until the line turns blue and yellow. And then you can just uh, let go. And now you're gonna have to adjust the keyframes most likely, but you're just gonna make sure at the start of the adjustment clip it's the amplitude's at 1.3, and you're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 frames to the right and put the amplitude to zero. And for the Y for the second shake, make sure the amplitude is at 0.75 for the start, and you're gonna go to the very end and put it to zero, and you'll have something like this. It's super good impact and lastly you're gonna go back to the adjustment clip and you can add this pink glow flicker if you want i am and you can just do the same thing to just snap it on and hold on let me just detach the lines and you can just connect them if it doesn't work for you but um just connect them and now um the brightness should be at two at the start for the glow and zero at the end and same with the flicker Amplitude should be at um, 0.2 at the start and at the end zero. And for this glow, I'm gonna change the color to blue since that's the color the the back was for the for the um, for the this thing right here. But yeah, that's basically it for like this blue back thing. Now I'm gonna okay. But one last thing is you're gonna have to do this uh, the stutter and stuff. So what you're gonna want to do is split the audio on the start of the buildup and on the end. And you're gonna go one, two, three, whoops. You're gonna go one, two, three, four frames, cut it. One, two, three, four again. 
cut it one two three four cut it one two three four and keep doing that until you reach the end and that's about good and now we're gonna want to do is you can just choose every other one it doesn't matter how you start it I'm just gonna do that one that one that one and that one then delete it and now you have the audio stutter and now just for like the the black thing you're, you're just gonna go into generate just look up color and drag the solid color over and now it's like a black you want to make sure your colors are black and you're gonna do the same splitting just like we did so now you have all these and you're just gonna split it on the same spot where the audio is split or the opposite now you have the stutter you want the pre-shake may look like a bit much to you so if you can turn that down but then yeah that's it for the build up and i'm gonna just add a couple sound effects i'll leave them linked down in the description uh but any gun sound effect will work and you can just line it up until it's like that but um yeah that's basically it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one and peace